All right, now we can continue. I don't remember what I was up to, truth be told. We'll see. Your luck today is terrible. Things won't be going your way, so avoid anything involving luck. Okay. Good to know. Uh, oh right, I'm, all right, I'm supposed to be going to the crest bar, but this, like, sub-story, so. By the way, on the topic of Majima, um, one of the major plots in this game is, like, apparently he got murdered, so we're looking into that. I hope it's not true, but it might very well be true. And it looks like Yakuza 8's probably going to be the last game that uh, Kiryu's going to be in. Or Like a Dragon 8, whatever they're calling it. So they're going to pass the torch on to the new guy. Which I don't know how he's like. But we'll get to him eventually when we get up to Like a Dragon. I mean, damn, Kiri would be, like, approaching 60 in the latest game, if not older. Dude looks good for his age. Oh, oh no, I got it. I thought for a sec I wasn't going to get the item, but my fate fell on it, so I picked it up. Well. We'll see. Wait, in here? And apparently there's... Uh, oh, here. Hey there, friend. Come on over and have a look at our shop. We've got appliances by the truckload going for shockingly cheap prices. Appliances, huh? What have you got? <laughs> what have you got, he asks. Why, we have everything except what we don't. <laughs> got me there, sure. I'll have a look around. How about a flat screen TV? The picture's amazing. You can see the pause on the actress actress's face. This latest model's going for just 200,000 yen. 200,000 yen, huh? I guess the office could use a TV. For just 10,000 yen more, I'll throw in a three-year extended warranty, which is totally a scam if you live in a country like Australia. Make it 20,000 more and I'll stretch the warranty to 10 years, which might not necessarily be too much of a scam. Do you deliver? You most certainly do. For 30,000 yen more, I'll drive it there myself right now. Now, will that be cra cash, credit, or payment yeah. plan? Hold it right there. Huh? What the? What do you want, lady? Keep your nose out of our business. Mister, you're, sh you're from Tokyo, ain't ya? Don't go shopping at a place like this with your wallet hanging open. You almost got robbed blind. Oh, now what the hell, lady? Stop spouting nonsense. You're killing my sales. Psst. A TV these days won't set you back 200,000 yen. There's plenty to be had for a lot less. I can't bear to watch someone get fleeced like this. Come on. We're going. Uh, okay. 200,000 yen. I should know how much that converts to. I'm checking. $2,000. She's not wrong. Well, 2,000 Australian. Which is like, what, 1,400 US? Yeah, something like that. So, uh, you saved me. 
You're about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. What? You're about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. I've never heard that one before. I couldn't bear to watch. You don't know the first thing about shopping in Soden Bori, do you? It's different from shopping anywhere else. If I didn't step in and take you under my wing, you would have bought at the shop's asking price. That's just plain wrong. Oh. Shopping in Soden Bori is a battle against the shop. Everyone here haggles. In fact, you'd be crazy not to. Really? A battle, huh? Oh my god, is this, is this his side hustle? Is his... <laughs> Hold on. Because every character has had um, something that they do, and then it's like a completely separate minigame, so let's just see what this is. That's right, tell you what, this old gal's gonna be your guardian angel and teach you how to shop in certain Bori, how about it? Sounds interesting, yes, please. Good. No one better to learn, you know? Okay, here's what you do. Here's 10,000 yen. I want you to take this and do a little shopping for me. I need an electric toothbrush, a lep... Fucking have to write this down. <laughs> this game is making me write down so much shit. Electric toothbrush. Leopard skin... Well, leopard print... Skirt. I almost said leopard print skin. And pair of high heels. Okay. Huh? I'm doing your shopping? Right. But only after I teach you the fine art of haggling inside Embori. Start with the basics. Alright. The first rule in haggling, praise your foe. Successful negotiation means winning the hearts and minds of your opponent. And don't praise the merchandise. It's the same as with women. Don't let them know you're interested. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Right, makes sense. Rule number two, name your price. Let your opponent reveal their hand first. Hmm, that rule applies to a lot more than just haggling. I've got to hand it to you, Osaka ladies. You're pretty tough customers, no pun intended. I don't know how to read English in Akiyama's voice. Um... <laughs> the third and final rule, respect the merchandise. Merchants usually take great pride in their wares, after all. Say something's old or scuffed to knock down the price. That's a big no-no. Yeah. Haggling in a way that hurts the merchant's pride is an ugly thing. A fight in which both sides respect each other's worth and end it with a handshake. That's the perfect way to haggle. You do well to remember that. And there you have it, the three rules of Osaka-style haggling. You get all that, rookie? Yeah, loud and clear. Right then, go get the items I requested. And remember, 10,000 yen or less. Before you go off to battle, you want to hear my rules for haggling again? I'm good. I'm good, got it all down. Good. That's the spirit. Remember, if you don't get 30% off each thing, you'll be over budget. And get out there and show them what you can do. Is this for real? I've got three things to buy. An electric toothbrush, a leopard print skin, and a pair of red high heels. We'll start with the toothbrush. Hey, my fr- Hey, it's my friend from before, and- Ah, not that old battle axe too. Oh, you won't have to worry about me. As if, but okay, whatever. You're back for your flat screen, are ya? Very well, take a look. Let's put this TV aside for now. Do you have any electric toothbrushes? We sure do. This one comes recommended. Get the best for just 6,300 yen. 6,300 yen, take 30% off, and I have to try for 4,410 yen. That's a pretty tall order. Good thing the game did the math for me. Open fire. Yikes, what? What's that she said? Oh, uh, yeah, don't mind her. You know, this store, it's got a unique charm. Not like those big appliance stores. It has a real sense of welcoming to it. That's just it with a place like ours. It's important to be a good neighbor, a good member of the local community. 
can't be easy for you, but it really speaks to your shop's status around town. Ah, now here's a man who understands. You know, I like you. If I could, I'd give it to you as a gift. You're pretty likable yourself. Maybe a part of the shop's charm comes from you, huh? My friend, I dare say you got the best of me. I'll drop right down to 5,000 yen. Tar targets 4,410. Just a little more. That's right, it says... Hmm. Well, I can't say that it's broken, so let's try this. It's too fresh. It isn't the latest model, is it? It's last season's, if I'm not mistaken. Precisely why I can't let you have it for so low. The latest models cost much, much more, you know? But wait long, and when it just go unsold, are you sure you don't want to go lower? Yeah. Well, now you're just being insulting. This might not be the newest, but it's still good. If you don't like that, you can take your business elsewhere. Ugh, this isn't looking good. Can't push him any further. Damn it. But, uh, <laughs> alright. Need to make up the difference between... Alright, alright, alright. I didn't insult the product, I just... Well, I get... What, saying that it's last year's model is insulting it? Hello, hello. Welcome. Anything I can help you with? A leopard print skirt, actually. Ah, you have good taste. I just have the thing in your size. Oh, no. It's not for me. <laughs> I'm only joking. Just a little poke in the ribs, you silly man. Okay. A leopard print skirt. I do have one. It's 3,000 yen. Will that be alright? 3,000 yen. Take 30% off and I end up with 2,100 as my target price. <laughs> pardon me, but were you an actress? What? Um, pardon me for asking, but were you ever an actress? Huh? What kind of question is that? You think laying on the sweet talk will lay out, get you a better price? Not at all. It's just you're so timelessly beautiful, I nearly forgot I was out shopping. Oh, you. I bet you're saying that everywhere you go and breaking all the girls' hearts, you lady kill you. Oh, you're a good one, alright. Okay, I'll drop it down to 2,700. 2,700. Ooh, stop it. Don't look at me that way. Ooh, you naughty boy. 2,500. The target's 2,100. Can she take another nudge? Alright, I guess complimenting it. You know, this leopard print skirt is one thing, but really a whole selection here is brilliant. Definitely a cut above the rest. Hmm? You can tell? That's quite an eye for quality you have. Makes me happy and proud to hear that. For such a discerning eye, I guess I can give you a break. How's two tooth sound? Heh. <laughs> Sounds like a half-baked number that's just begging to be bargained with. Let's say we lower it to a nice round 2,000. Done. That'll be 2,000. You got yourself a deal. Alright, cool. And candy? Okay. Got the price under the 2,100 yen budget. This gives me a great shot at clearing the last test. The red high heels. Hey, how are you, mister? You happened by at the right time. We... Got our going out of business sale going on right now. How about a pair of red high heels? Ah, let me see. Yes. Yes, we got some. This is a gift for a lady friend or something? Well, actually, it feels more like an errand for my mom. Okay, well, the retail price is 1500 yen, but I'll let him go for 4 2. Wow. From 1500 all the way down to 4200 that's quite the price cut. Forget about the quality. We're all about the lowest price. Admirable of you. Your honesty is impressive. Take 30% off. 2940 Still, it's going to be tough to bargain him down when it's this cheap to begin with. I guess just go small talk. Has this shop been here a long time? We started right after the war, so well over half a century now, but I'm leaning towards shutting it down for good. Oh, yeah. You said you're holding a going out of business sale, isn't that right? <laughs> well, the closing sale have been going on for the last 10 years, but that's more to show our customers we're serious about serving them. 
We're not worried about being a healthy money-making business anymore. Our price is uh, pretty much at cost. Definitely seems that way. Doesn't seem to be more room for negotiation. Alright, I guess just keep complimenting. I've got to hand it to you. You're an exemplary merchant. I'll bet I could learn a lot from you. You don't say. Well, there's no need to stand around and listen to an old man reminisce. You young folk have people to see, things to do and whatnot. Oh no, as a businessman myself, hearing your story is actually quite educational. That's so. What was my heart hearing that? Seems these days no one has the time for this old man. He does not look that old. Tell you what, I'll give you a break. How's 2000 sound? He'll go down that far in one jump? He's already gone way past 30% off. What should I do? Take him, man. Alright, I'll take them. That'll be 2000 yen. Appreciate your business. Whoa, he gave me a bigger deal than I had hoped for. I bought everything I needed for under 10,000 yen, too. Alright. It doesn't look like it's a minigame. You've done well, dear. To be honest, I didn't think you had it in you. I had a good teacher. It was a real education, to say the least. <laughs> oh, and thanks for doing my shopping. Truth be told, none of the shops around here will deal with me anymore. I've haggled them down too much. Huh? So thanks to you, I got my shopping done with a nice deep discount. Thank you, dear. Wait, so you're saying you used me to get a discount? Come now, why the long face? Here, maybe this will cheer you up. Fitness gear. Never forget to hone your haggling skills. Farewell. <laughs> I mean, I got experience orbs as well, so. More health, please. What did I just get? It doesn't say what it does. I, apparently I can't use that. I think it's something to just sell. This scarf is so shabby looking, enemies will take pity on you. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Kind of moved me away from where I was. Addy. Oh, Akiyama san. I'm just checking up on that Nanako Kadama chan I sent your way. How's she working out? Nanako. She's been fantastic from the get go. I've never seen a girl so eager to work. But enthusiasm isn't enough to win your request from clients, is it? The world doesn't really work like that. All our girls are celebrities, that's our selling point, the chance to meet stars. In terms of looks, our hostesses are unbeatable. But the girls have their pride too. They see themselves as stars, so why serve drinks as hostesses? I can see that. They're only working here because their agencies make them. Well, their pride gets in the way of business. You can't expect them to deliver friendly service with an attitude like that. It's nice to meet stars, but the service quality is disappointing for the price. That's what you get for hiring real hostesses. That's where Nanako-chan's different. She's incredibly friendly and courteous, nothing like you'd expect from some snooty idol. She's been both humble and hardworking. Our guests get to know her, and next thing you know, they're lining up at the door. She's really raking in the business. You don't say. Sounds like she might make number one. I'll go back to the office and wait for the good news. Akiyama-san. Hey, welcome back. I did it. I had the highest sales today. Sounds like it. I got a call from the club's manager. <laughs> what do you think? Did I change your opinion of me? Heh, <laughs> I guess you have. Okay, on to the next one. Huh? 
I'm not done? Of course not. Nobody said anything about that being the only test. 300 million is a lot of money. I can't hand that over for just doing one simple task. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. What do you want me to do next? Let's see. What should I have her do next? Wait, I have to make her do all three? Go collect alone, put that body to work. I don't think put that body to work is... Like, we'll probably make her work on a farm or something. I'll go collect alone first. I'll have you collect on alone. Just stop by and get the money for me. Oh, an errand? Sure, no problem. The client is Murata trading in the show sh show Fuku da ba ba show Fuku. I can't read. Sodenbori building. Show them these papers and I'll get the picture. Show Fuku. Show Fuku. Show Fuku. Show Fuku. Show Fuku. I can't go ku like who. Hey. Ugh. <laughs> I'm waiting for my iced tea. It's all. It, it'll be done in like. Another half hour or so, it'll be nice and ice cold. Success takes risks, huh? Let's see if she really means that. Better check on her at the, uh, the building. Yeah. Totally know how to pronounce that. I could say it in my own voice, I just can't when I'm, like, stretching it like that. Like, ah. Shine for coup. <laughs> Apparently I have an email. To the warriors on the warpath, to those of you looking to best a rival, win back the girl. All oh, right, yeah, 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 that's the training and Kamiyama weapon stuff. Uh, all right, there's only four left. I'll take a taxi because it's quicker. And it just knocked over that guy. Perfect, that's where I want to go. Shai Fuku Chai. What? Hey, what was that? I just got served by an old lady. Idiot, I've seen kids dance better than you. Your fundamentals stink. You call yourself a dancer? That's an outright lie. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Damn it. Okay, Sonny, pay up. Come on, 1,000 yen. Fine, I'll pay, I'll pay. <laughs> and that's why I'm not about to give up on dance battles anytime soon. There's more money to be made here than a pachinko parlor. That old lady put money on the dance battle? Huh. There's something you don't see every day. So anyone else want to take me on? Got plenty of dancing left in me. Lay down your best. Just 1,000 yen for a dance-off with yours truly. Oh boy. Hmm? Huh? You a dancer too? Kind of old for that, ain't ya? <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> Not a bad face, though. You remind me of my husband when he was a lot younger. So what can I do for you? Want to scrape off in a dance battle? The bet's just 1,000 yen. Uh, are you sure you're going to be alright? Dancing's pretty strenuous, don't you think? Pshaw. That ain't nothing for you to concern yourself with. I was a prima ballerina with a company in Europe when I was younger. Don't assume I'm just some run-of-the-mill granny. Wow. You're a former prima ballerina? That's, uh... Time sure can be cruel, huh? <laughs> a joker, are ya? I like you. Come on, join me for a dance battle. A dance battle, huh? Well, I have seen Haruka dance, so I suppose I might be able to hold my own. Alright. Sure, you're on. Good answer. Here we go. Uh, it's practice for, like, the dance competition, which will happen later, most likely. So, I swear, on my list of things that I thought I'd be doing in this game, this was not one of them. Oh. 
Is the granny gonna have a power move? <laughs> My god. She hit me pretty hard. I need a heal. Oh crap. I, d I just didn't press the button! Please don't use a move, Granny. You're gonna knock me out. Uh oh. Okay, no, it wasn't. It wasn't okay. There we go. Keep using moves. High pressure. Yeah, a bit of granny. I'm in shock. My goodness gracious me. You got some smooth moves for a man your age. Maybe. But you're really one to talk. Tell me, though, you're not actually a dancer, are you? The way you move leads me to believe you're an amateur through and through. Oh, is it that obvious? Guess there's no fooling a prima ballerina. It's like you say, I'm no dancer. Yeah. Well, it's truly astonishing. A man with no formal training, dancing so well. The way you use your feet, especially. I know pros that can't even do the things you do. <laughs> All right, Sonny, you win this one. Huh? I've been dancing for over half a century, and if an amateur dances that well against me, I can't in good conscience give myself the win. That's why this round's yours, Sonny. Yeah, take your thousand yen. Heh, <laughs> watching you dance was almost like seeing my late husband dance again. You made me remember the old coot. Heh, <laughs> that's quite an honor. Of course, the old coot was a little better looking than you. No offense, see ya. None taken. Uh, I should probably... Is this food? Is this food? Is this food? Avert your eyes if you're hungry. My health is low. Okay. Oh man. It's a mushroom set. I mean, they said it'd probably be good. This lavish set is fit for a king. All right. Mushroom rice. Can't escape these guys. Oh, I can't. Right. Only sides of can pick up those ones. an impressive fight, Shunakiyama-san. I forgot about this guy. The problem is, like, when I go like this, it's hard to go back to Akiyama voice. Huh? Who are you? I help run the Victory Road Tournament. I look forward to seeing much more of you. <laughs> I can't... It's so hard. 
It's just swapping between the two. Victory ride. The victory ride is an underground fighting contest with qualifiers held concurrently over Japan. I just feel like this guy just has that kind of voice. Just super serious. Its sole purpose is to find the ultimate fighter in the nation. And that man you just defeated, he was in the qualifying round. That still doesn't explain why he was so eager to pick a fight with me. Uh, it's simple. You're a possible contender. Come again? We've had our eye on you. You seem to be a formidable fighter. But be warned, from now on, other Victory Road contenders will be gunning for you. Defeat all the contenders here in town and we'll see you at the finals. Can you become the ultimate fighter, Akiyama? And what if I'm not interested? You'll come around. Your kind always does. Now if you'll excuse me. <laughs> I have to go super Aussie on it as well. I wasn't looking for trouble, but it seems it came looking for me. If I was ad-libbing, he'd be like, Sunshine. Just has to say sunshine. Wow, seriously? Guy's none too secret about being a stalker, is he? Excuse me, pal. Mind telling me what you're up to? What? Who are you? I am with Dyna Chair. Ring a bell. You're from Haruka-chan's agency? Yep. So, let me ask you again, what are you doing here? Yeah. Uh, well, you see, I... <laughs> nothing. Later! Hey! Stop! He got, he got the bottle, he got the bottle. Okay, my turn. Gotcha! Oh shit! <laughs> QTE failed! Try again. I got him already. Alright. I'll ask you nicely. Quick skulking around Haruka-chan. Stalking is an actual crime, you know that, right? You got it all wrong. I'm no stalker, I was just trying to keep Haruka-chan safe. Sure, pal. That's what they all say. I swear, I'm not lying. Haruka-chan really is being stalked. No admission of guilt, nor sign of remorse. Okay, you've had your chance. What are you saying we call the police? I'm not lying, I'm telling you. Look, there he is. Uh, that's him. He's the real stalker. I see him wandering around Haruka-chan's apartment all the time. You're serious? See, there he goes. He's the stalker, you gotta believe me. What? Damn it. Why do they always have to run? Am I really doing this again? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Bottle. Thank you. Oh my god, I almost did. <laughs> I almost hit the random pedestrian. Okay. That could have gone poorly. Not this time! Yes. Yes! Alright, that one a lot better. Wonder. 
Man, they've got me running all over town. So, pal, tell me, are you the real stalker? Stalker? You got it all wrong. I was hoping to protect Haraka-chan. Oh, jeez, not you too. Fine, we'll let the police sort this out. Wait, wait, wait. I really ain't your stalker. Look over there, there he is. Ah. Don't try to pretend you're not, you creep. I've seen you stalking Haraka-chan's apartment plenty of times. You take that back, I ain't no stalker. I'll have you know I've been keeping Haraka-chan safe. Hey, mellow out. What's going on here? Hell if I know. Where do you get off calling me a stalker? I'm gonna keep Haraka-chan safe from the likes of you assholes. Say your prayers. Okay, I see what's going on. This is like... When someone calls into a radio show and they're holding their phone right next to the radio, so when they talk, they hear themselves talk. But then they can hear themselves through the radio, talking to the radio host in the background, hearing themselves talking to the radio host, holding their phone in their hands whilst the noise goes through the phone again, back to the radio, and then they hear... <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying. Gentlemen, would you care to explain, please? I... I'm not a stalker. I admit I found Haraka-chan's apartment, but I hung around hoping I could see her. But then I noticed there was this shifty-looking guy hanging around there too, so I told myself I'd protect her. It was some guy in a tracksuit. Wait, that's the same as me. I saw this brute sniffing around Haraka-chan's place. She needed protecting from him. I saw that creep in the suit acting all kinds of suspicious. I was just trying to keep Haraka-chan... Alright, so I've heard enough. <laughs> Basically all three of you are whistling the same tune. You all tried to keep Haraka-chan safe from a stalker and you all got mistaken for one. Psst. What a mixed up bunch of white knights. How silly can you get? Well, it's a good thing it wasn't serious. These guys seem harmless enough. Just some fans who took things a little too far. Sure caused us worry, though. You stay away from Haraka's place from now on. If I see you again, I'm calling the cops. It won't happen again. Please forgive us. Sorry for causing your trouble. Ah, <sighs> Thanks for clearing this up, Akiyama-san. I suppose I should thank you, huh? How about this? Royal Joker card? What is this Royal Joker card? I got more XP. Uh, you can upgrade your abilities. Okay. This card showing a crown joker is supposed to help a turn and get a good hand in poker. Well, I'm not going to do any gambling because I'm bad at that, so... Otherwise, I'm sure it would be useful. Let me try the special. Hold on. Wait for it. Run and... No. Hold on. Triple takedown! <laughs> nice. That's such a good move. It's a drunk dude here. Hotel Travis. Come on, baby. Quit stalling. No, I don't want to. There's that... Oh, there's that paid relationship couple. Whoa, what is going on here? Camera. What the hell did I do? Everything else is shaking while Akiyama is like perfectly still. Oh, okay. Yeah, it got confused. I was trying to face this way, but it just couldn't. And it just 
was just vibrating. D damn it! <laughs> okay, triple move, triple move, triple move. Here we go. See you later. Whoops. Okay, no. I was gonna ride the bike on him. Alright, let's try this again. Come on, Kazemi-chan, what's your problem? You can't get back out now. Please, I decided I don't want to anymore. I want to go home. Now hold on, you're being unreasonable. I went through all this trouble of coming to see ya. Junior here is not about to be blue-balled. Junior? Hey pal, have a heart, huh? You'd really force a girl into a place like this. What? Who the hell are you? I believe the girl here said no. Tell Junior to calm down. And get out while you still have teeth. You stay out of this. Ain't none of your business. Look, this is a paid relationship deal, isn't it? And with a minor, no less. That's ground for arrest, you know? Shut you up! I told you to scram! Oh, okay. <laughs> he has no chance of winning. Bicycle. Bicycle. Nah, I'm sorry. No more, please. Why is he closing his eyes? Are you alright? I imagine you had enough of this paid relationship nonsense. I didn't do this because I wanted to. I didn't have a choice. You had no choice. You're really that desperate for money? It wasn't about money. Then, what was it about? Well... Kazumi, what do you think you're doing? Emi-chan. You telling me you lost a customer? Oh, I think I know what this is. Which game was this in? Oh, I can't remember. We got things to do, you know. So irresponsible of you not following through like that. Ah, so these girls were making you do this, but I don't understand. Why put up with it? Because I don't have any other friends at school. They said they'd ignore me if I don't go on a paid date. Some friends. You'd be much better off without them. But if I didn't do what they said, they would bully me at school. They'd hit me and cut up my uniform and... Kazumi, how long are you going to talk to that geezer? We gotta find us another John. Come on. We're going. If you don't earn enough, how are we supposed to party? I'm sorry, did I hear that right? You want Kazumi to sell herself so you can goof off? That's gotta be a new low. I'd love to meet your parents. Huh. What do you know? How about I introduce you to my big brother instead? Huh? Oh, crap. Hey, what's up, Emmy? Kazumi was gonna earn some money today, yeah? You run into trouble or what? This geezer's getting in the way. Keep spewing grade school morality bullshit and holding things up. Nah? What's the matter, old man? You got a problem with my little sis? Why don't you take it up with me, then? Ugh. Let me get this straight. You're really Emmy-chan's older brother. <laughs> <laughs> what? You pissing yourself now? That's what you get for thinking you can boss us around. Mister, you should run. They're capable of anything when they're mad. Run? Why? I'm rather pleased that they came along. Perfect timing, actually. Huh? What do you mean? Your little sister was really starting to piss me off. But I have this thing against hitting women, so frankly, I wasn't sure what to do. But now that you're here, well, problem solved. Wouldn't you say? Real funny, old man. You're not from around these parts, are ya? You don't know who you're dealing with. Bro, hurry up and stomp this asshole. Trying to find more Johns is too much work. We'll just take this guy's wallet after you're done with him. 
I'm pretty sure Majima had to deal with the same shit like 30 years ago. There was like some girl that was running, uh, they were selling underwear, but she wasn't selling her underwear, she was just like, doing peer pressure. Uh, pretty much this exact same scenario, except it was underwear, and Majima had to break it up. I mean, it's the same city, so, yeah. Wait, how did that miss? There we go. Yeah, Mercy, please, we're sorry. Anarchy, wait, don't leave me here. Wow, old man, you're amazing. You know that's not my name, right? You can call me Akiyama. Thank you, Akiyama-san. If it wasn't for you, I... I feel so stupid for being afraid of them. Heh. <laughs> that right. Well, sorry if I cost you your friends. No, it's okay. I was only with them because I was so scared of Emi-chan's brother. I'm not going to have anything to do with them anymore. I'll try my best to make new friends. That's good. Actually, there's a girl who might be a good start. I think she attends the same school as you. Really? Her name's Haruka Sawamura. You know her? Akiyama-san, you know Haruka-chan? Yeah, you might say that. She's so busy with being an idol these days, she hasn't had the chance to make many friends at school. Mind saying hi to her? I'm sure it'd make her happy. But she's an idol. Do you really think we could become friends? She's an idol, but she's also just an ordinary girl. And your age too. I'm sure she feels lonely at school with so few friends. Oh, I didn't think it would be like that. I'll work up some courage and try to talk to her. I'd greatly appreciate it. Excuse me, can you stop bumping into my fucking shoulder as I try to talk to this little girl? Thank you very much. I have to go now. Thank you. <laughs> it's, just, it's like at least eight NPCs that just kept bumping into Akiyama in that scene. I mean, in-game cutscenes are nice, but... When you program your AI in a way that, like, they just keep going straight no matter what. Ah. <sighs> this is the sh Shofuku. Shofuku. Yeah, that's the word. Shofuku. I can't say the word like this. Sodenbori building. I should see how Nanako is doing. Oh, very inconspicuous. Dama. Totally won't see you down there. Hello, I'm collect. I'm here to collect on your loan now. If you wouldn't mind paying up. Yeah. And who are you? Akiyama-san from Sky Finance sent me. He said to show you these. Sky Finance. Ah. Huh. This ain't what we agreed to. I ain't paying shit. Huh? I borrowed on the premise of no interest. Now he's telling me he wants immediate repayment with interest? Guy can go fuck himself. But that has nothing to do with me. Is that what those papers say? You heard me, I ain't paying. Not a single yen. Now get out of my office. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I have to collect that loan from you. Eh? You got something in your ears, lady? I said I ain't paying, and I damn well meant it. Hit the road. No. I'm not leaving. What was that? I'm sick and tired of doing what other people want. I want to be a star on my own terms. Besides, if you hurt me, you're going to be in big trouble. Akiyama-san knows I came here, and if anything were to happen to me, he'd go straight to the police. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you win. I'll pay your money. Hold on. Really? Here, now scram! I actually paid the money. Thank you very much. Bye. Man, what a piece of work. Good job. Oh, hey. 
You saw that? So you're letting me off the hook for that loan you gave me. I tried scaring that girlie like you told me. Didn't actually have to succeed though, right? Right. That was perfect. What was in that bundle you handed her? A stack of losing lottery tickets. Ha! <laughs> Got it. Nice ad lib. That little babe turned around and threatened me. She's sharper and gutsier than she lets on. I'd have to agree. Better get back to the office. Oh, there you are. You kept me waiting for long enough. Sorry, sorry. I had to step out for a quick errand. I collected your loan like you wanted. Good job. Alright, last one, I guess. Okay, then. What should I have you do next? Mm. Next? I'm not done yet. If you pass my test, I'll loan you the money. Really? Oh, alright, fine. I'll do whatever you want. Heh. <laughs> I admire your commitment. What should I assign her? Alright, last one. I want you to put that body of yours to work. Huh? It might be tough for a pin-up idol, but sometimes dreams don't come true unless you give it everything you have, you know? You can always say no, but... That, of course, means you fail the test. If it were my agency asking me of this, I would never accept, but since it's of my own free will, I can do it. I will do it. Heh. <laughs> if you say so. Where do you want me to go? Head on over to Sotenbori Street. I'll let them know you're coming, so they'll approach you when you get there. Okay. It's for 300 million yen. I'm going to give everything I got. Okay, let's just see how well Little Miss Innocent fares. I knew it. It's finally over, my knees, my back, all my joints feel like they're made of rubber. Welcome back. You look a little winded there. Are you going to be alright? You said it was a job using my body, but you never said anything about working at a construction site. Oh, I didn't? Well, anyhow, cheer up. You succeeded. You passed the test. Yay. Dang, she was ready to stand on the corner. I mean, 300 million yen. Some people have a price, I guess. Alright, the next test. Huh? Exactly how many more hoops do I have to jump through? Just one. Really? Really. This is the final test, so listen closely. Change your stage name. I mean, I would, like... It's just one of those things I would I would not do. <laughs> it's, there's there's a line. I'll just spend my days poor, but I'll still eat chicken, and that'll make me happy. So everything will be okay. Pardon me. And Nanako Kadam is done. You continue your career under a new name. But I. What's the matter? All you need to do is change the name. Shouldn't be a problem. Well, yes, but... I need an answer. You either change your name or fail the test. You have ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Time's up. You fail. You're awful. You gave me an impossible test knowing I'd never accept it, didn't you? What makes it impossible? It's not a difficult task. If I stopped being Nanako Kodama, it would be just like giving in to my agency and changing my persona like they asked. That's completely unacceptable. I have to stay true to myself, and that includes keeping my name. Akiyama-san, I played along this whole time, but all you've done is toy with me. You were never actually going to loan me the money, were you? Are you done making excuses? I'm not making excuses. Besides, those were really strange tests, and it was all completely meaningless, wasn't it? How would you know if any of it was meaningless or not? In fact, the final test told me exactly what I needed to know. It's impossible for you to go independent and start your own agency. You'd be wasting your own time. How dare you! What could you possibly learn about me from those silly tests? I learned quite a lot, actually. 
I wanted to see if you could swallow your pride and work as hard as a hostess, compete against younger girls from your agency. I had to see if you had the courage to not back down in the face of danger and the smarts to achieve what you set out to do. And I also needed to know if you're physically capable of pursuing your dream even when pushed to the absolute limit. The three tests I gave you were all to see if you had the power to make your dream come true. The power to make my dream come true? Well, I passed your test, didn't I? Shouldn't I have it then? And if that's the case, what was with that final test? Why do I have to change my name? Power is one thing, will is another. I need to see just how far you are willing to go for your dream. The final test confirmed it. Your dream isn't as precious as you make it out to be. You're just unhappy with your agency. Am I wrong? Well, power and will, they're equally important. Without one or the other, you're guaranteed to fail. There was another woman like you before. She also came to me for a loan of 300 million yen. It was going to take power and will for her to realize her dream. Murray Park had both of them. Murray Park? You mean from Diner Chair? Yeah. A year and a half ago, she came to me for a loan to make her dream come true, just like you. And I assigned her the same three tests I gave you. She passed them all without a single word of complaint. Even though she's a former pop star, it couldn't have been easy working as a hostess among girls half her age, but that didn't stop her. She proved she could do it. What about the final test? Was it the same as the one you gave me? Park-san's final test? I told her to get out of the production business once her current project had ended. Huh? But that would mean her story would have ended the same way. Out of the business, whether her project succeeded, whether... Oh, there. <laughs> I didn't read that properly. It's not the same. Park-san turned her next chance into her last chance. It helped strengthen her resolve to make her dream come true. It proved she was committed to making that girl a star. Wait. Do you mean that girl in the Princess League? Rather than her very livelihood as an agent president, Marie Park chose to make her dream come true, if not just for a moment. Once I saw that she had both the power and the will to realize her dream, I happily gave her the loan. I see. Your feelings towards your fans are real. Your desire to make it as a star is authentic too. You have what it takes to succeed. Then why? Because your dream itself, your desire to go independent, was a lie. Oh. You came to me because you were unhappy with your agency, isn't that right? Yes. You were angry with your agency for not understanding you. You rebelled against their orders to change who you are. You took those negative emotions and sugarcoated them with a the convenient guise of a dream to fool yourself. Real dreams stem from something more positive, don't you think? Akiyama-san. Nanako-chan. My manager? What are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. I had to ask all over town to finally track you down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I told you to make change without considering your feelings. I didn't know how much I'd hurt you. But I want you to know that the agency hasn't given up on you. On the contrary, we think you can shine even brighter. Really? I'm kicking myself for not properly take to ah, taking this matter up with you and discussing your career together. No, it's my fault too. I was acting totally selfish in spite of all the support I was given over the years. It's thanks to the agency that I even became an idol, and with fans who support me no less, I somehow convinced myself that it was all about me. Nanako-chan. Ah, uh, so, I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused. No, no, the fault is all mine. Please forgive me. <laughs> See? They really do appreciate you. Huh? If you ask well, if you ask me, you've got a pretty good agency behind you. Like I said, you have what it takes to succeed. You're right. It's time I stopped running away from reality. Um, Akiyama san. Eh? I know I put you through a lot of trouble, but could you please forget about my loan? Sure, that's fine. On one condition, don't do anything half heartedly anymore. Deal? I'll be rooting for you. Yes, sir. Thank you for everything. <laughs> I didn't do anything worth thanks.
It's like, well, that's that. And I'll be damned, I really do it, didn't do anything this time. Well, except maybe blow through more money. And at this rate, it's going to be quite a while before the Sedenbori branch be gets back on track. It was like, have you ever seen the movie Basketball? Where they just keep making sexual innuendos about, like, buffing floors and shit, and then they actually buff floors? That's basically Akiyama. Like, you think it's gonna be the thing that you think it's gonna be, but it's not. It's just, no, I, I need you to go put that body to work. I need you to go build a hospital. Throw enemies you can grab with greater ease. Slam. Oh, god break, hell yeah. Yep, god break is gonna be useful. I should probably save. I've done quite a bit. And again, there was like 300 million yen, but 300 million yen is a loan. No, that was stupid. <laughs> that was dumb. It wasn't 300 million yen that you'd get to keep. It's 300 million yen that you have to pay back eventually somehow. No, yeah, I, ch I, changed, I changed my mind on that one. Oh, come on. I was going to get some food, man. But I guess it's like interest free. Not that it matters. They still haven't established exactly how much money he got. He must be very, very rich. Oh, no. It goes in my pockets. It's not like something I eat on the spot. That's unfortunate. Damn it! I'm through with this shit! Huh? What's up? You fighting in Victory Road too? Uh, I guess you could say that. That makes you a competitor, huh? Yeah, but I'm not looking for a fight right now. I just finished one up, so I'm beat. You can invest a bunch and make the money back off interest over time, probably. Yeah. Because he does... Oh, what is up with this guy's face? What is going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? What? It looks like he's pooping. <laughs> oh no. Okay, got it. Uh, now he's back to normal. Um, yeah, because it's interest free and he doesn't have um, a set time that you need to pay it back in, so. And a lot of. He won't give you the money anyway if it's for something stupid. Like, the people he gives the money to is for people that really want to do something with their lives and, you know, good intentions, so it's like they'll probably get more money out of it as a result. The name's Banba, Ryochi Banba. I'm Akiyama. I didn't actually want to do this victory road thing. My dad signed me up for it without asking. Your dad? Why'd he do that? He runs a karate dojo. But lately, there have been fewer people joining. He wanted to put our name out there through the Victory Road. So I got stuck with doing it. Now I can't go two steps without some punk picking a fight with me. Heh, <laughs> you don't sound like a martial artist. Well, a real martial artist doesn't seek to show off their skills. All the competitors I've gone up against so far have been a piece of cake. I wouldn't mind as much if the fights were more challenging, but this is getting pretty old. I guess there's no point in complaining to you, though. See you around. Mm. Well, he seems pretty confident, but the guys like him tend to get the rug pulled from under them in the end. 
Oh, wait, that's it? Um, alright, cool. We are up to... Oh, wait, no, we're not. There's one more on the right. Okay, I guess it's just a walk up the street. Sorry! <laughs> How comical it looks when I run into someone and I just go flying. Just looking, what that? What that food? It's cheap. Looks good. Oh, hi. Can I interest you in some okonomiyaki? No, full on. They're real good. I have to admit, it does smell great, but uh, aren't all okonomiyaki from stalls pretty much the same? Hey now, those are fighting words. No, we keep it real. We take the time to get things right, from sourcing the flour to the final prep. It's downright heartbreaking to hear you lumping us all together with the usual street fair. Is that right? Well, let's see you back up your claim. I'll try one. Thank you. I'll grill one up fresh and hot. Hang tight now. Here you go. Thanks. Best served hot, right? <laughs> Those head motions. <laughs> Looks like a pelican trying to eat. You ain't kidding. This is so good. Oh, the stuff puts the restaurants to shame. Absolutely. I'm confident in what I sell. Only trouble is that a lot over there have been taking all my business. I'm really hurting here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, man. It's just, uh... Yep, street food wars. It just reminds me of, um... My moderator and friend. He worked at a boba place and, uh... Had a long story short, it was effectively this. It was like... Their boba was being slandered by another boba place. Like, just full-on boba drama. Though I can't imagine they would have been dressed in suits like this, but maybe they were. Fresh Okonomiyaki to go. Right here. And that charming pair over there. They're Yakuza goons who run things around here. Whenever we get customers, they cause trouble to scare them off. Classic. Ah, they. Yeah. Yo, Yasuo, what's up? Got yourself a customer? Nice going. Business has been a little slow, huh? What's it to you? Our Okonoma Miyaki is better than that crap you're serving. Ain't no wonder customers choose us over you. You can talk the talk, I'll give you that. But hey, Yasuo, wrap your head around this. What happens if rumors start spreading? Drop money at Yasuo's place and a couple of scary folks will kick your ass. What? Don't you dare. The customer's got nothing to do with this. They got everything to do with this, dipshit. Folks who can't appreciate good food need to be shown the error of their ways. See, pal, we got no personal axe to grind with ya, but we gotta thump ya. Just good business, you know? No hard feelings. <laughs> That's some business model you got there. You don't actually believe that, do you? You're a man of reason, I like that. But this is our territory, so we make the rules. Whatever we do, that's justice, see? So let's just get this over with, pal. Remember, if you want to thank someone for your bumps and bruises, you can thank Yasuo. What is this thing that they're serving? I'm curious. I don't know what they're serving. Let's find out why there's, like, a, a war over this food. It is a savory pancake. It basically means grilled as you like it. With your choice of protein, tasty condiments, and topping. Oh, this looks good. This looks really good. <laughs> I 
I have to show you this. It's, 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 context, it's context for the deep and rich story we are experiencing, okay? I must provide this context. So this is the food that they're fighting over. I mean, it, it looks pretty damn good. How Akiyama ate that in the air, I, I don't know. But... <laughs> I'd fight for that, yeah. I might have to look for that next time I go to a Japanese place. Holy shit. Yep. Ow, oh, fuck. Ah. Who the hell are you? You're a monster. Sorry to disappoint, uh, but I'm just a passing customer. Nice to see you fellows are so committed to your job. But learn to pick your fights better, alright? This ain't over. Sorry about that. I shouldn't be causing a scene in front of your place. Yeah. Oh, no problem at all. That was a heck of a display. Say, what do you call that style of yours? You kicked those goons around like they were sacks of rice. Huh? Oh, yeah. Might have gotten a little carried away. No, you were awesome. You really inspired me. If it were me putting on an acrobatic spectacle like that, people would come from miles around to see what I'm cooking. Mister, what's your name? Huh? I'm Akiyama. Akiyama-han. Just you watch. I'm going to be the Akiyama-han of the Oko no Momiyaki world. I, I probably mispronounced that. It's like Oko no Miyaki. Oko no Miyaki. I've already got the flavor down. All I need now is a show-stopping performance that'll capture the hearts and minds of the customers. Alright, I better start training Akiyama-han. You gotta come and try my okonomiyaki again some other time. I can't say that word properly! <laughs> well, he can cook, so if he can get more people to stop by and try his food, I'm sure he'll be set. That's it, right? Okay, we're up to date. We can now progress the main story, and I can take a break from having to read. Should probably use these lockers. I just forget where they are in this town. Oh, wow, that was dumb. Hang on. Let go. The force. Holy shit, that, that bike went flying. You fucked up. Excuse me. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes. Oh, wait, the lockers are here. Here we go. Auto token. 
automatically play on slot machines. Okay, definitely want that. High payout token. To set slot machines to the highest payout level. It really wants me to go gamble. Steel Tonfa. I have all this gambling stuff. Really? He waited for me? Excuse me. Ah, oh, damn it, I almost did it. Triple takedown. Oh wait, he's not down. Just want to go to progress the story. That's so much to ask. Okay, cool. I don't have to read. We're looking for the forger. Someone faked the suicide note of Park. Yes, I. Domo. Anta yosomonga. なんでまたこんな小汚い店に小汚い味があって結構な店だと思うよ。注文はそうだな。衣装を偽造してほしいんだけど。うちは酒しか出されへんで、なんか勘違いしてるんちゃうか。カムロ町の人弁師から聞い
Actually, the name recognition I get on TV helps draw more customers to my restaurant. Seeing me on TV might make people curious about me, but my greatest challenge is satisfying them when they come to eat my food. See, your show is all part of that. You really have your hands full. You can say that again, but hey, you could help me out by letting me know if you find a great place that serves local cuisine. I don't think I could survive an attempt to visit every last restaurant myself. Well, it's not like I'm an expert or anything, but I'll help when I can. Great, thanks, you're a lifesaver. I've asked someone else about places that don't sell alcohol, so if you could focus on those that do, that would be great. Honestly, I don't think I can drink much more. You'd be doing me a huge favor. I see you're in the predicament. I'd be glad to help. If you introduce me to some good ones, I'll pay you back by teaching you my own special way to get the most out of your meals. And that's something you don't want to miss. Up secret techniques from a TV personality. Sounds interesting. Great. Because I'm counting on you, you know where to find me. Okay. I love how he just messages you and then just disappears. <laughs> oh, there's another sub-story up ahead. Alright. Hey. もしもし。Am I right next to that parking lot? I think I might be. Parking lot and show you could show, huh? Guess I better give that a try. Yeah, it's behind. Um, I'm gonna go do the sub-story first. I wanna find out what this restaurant is. It's like cow, cow in a bowl. It looks like it's soups. They look good. Oops. Everything's fine. The air's so damn dry, it drives me nuts. This day and age, a guy has to take care of his skin. Okay. It's actually this that I was after. <laughs> You know that print circle machine at Club Sega? They say a ghost sometimes appears in the photos. Huh? What do you mean, a ghost? I don't know. Heard about it in class. They call it the Cursed Print Circle. You gotta go check it out. Huh. That's probably gonna be scary, but... You wanna go? Cursed Print Circle? Huh? Might be worth checking out. Oh boy. Uh, alright, Club Sega's look down that way. Probably more gambling stuff. Hold on. Oh, that's golf. I mean, it's just golf. It's, there's nothing fancy about it. Club Sega. Where's the print circle machine? Oh yeah, arcade seats, huh. The camera's being weird again, but okay. Wait, I can actually play Virtua Fighter 2. I can't play Mezzaking. Not allowed. Oh, here it is. A photo booth, huh? I just happen to have a photo book with me. A 
I think they're in the booth next to me. You're not crazy. No, no, I believed you. I just had a hard time picturing what it would look like. Because Animal Crossing is not a good uh, indicator of what it would look like. I'm not crazy, you're crazy! That was bad. That was even worse. That's better. That one worked. But that wasn't haunted. I'll go with that one. Great photo. A ghost shows up in the background, huh? That's what they say. Wouldn't it be awesome if it was true? Huh? Looks more like terrifying. Okay, take the picture. Ah! A monster in the photo! Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Here. Right here. Huh? That's me, you nitwit. Well, that sucks. No ghosts in the pic. Just a couple of babes. Way to be modest there, Sachi-san. Well, I guess it was just an urban legend after all. Oh well, let's go. All this making pretty faces and posing for the cameras made me hungry. These things are super popular in Japan, although most of them don't allow dudes to take pics in there. Really? Psst. Discrimination, man. What if I want to take a photo with, like, a love heart? So this is the cursed print circle. Those girls said a ghost sometimes appear in the background. Should I take a picture? What if I want to be kawaii desu, huh? Well, I came out here to investigate. <laughs> May as well. Alright. Wait, so the whole floor, they just... Uh, I mean, I guess that makes sense, because... There's two sides to this. There's, like, dudes... There's, like, dudes that genuinely want to take a photo, right? Dudes that want to genuinely take a photo and partake in it. And then there are just creepy dudes that are there because this is... What the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. This is the ghost? That's as fake as they come. There's probably, like, some... That's the ghost. Hey, hold it. <laughs> Is this going to turn into like a Scooby Doo montage where I'm just running through a bunch of doors? And I pull off the mask, and it's like the dude from the, uh, the food soul from earlier. Oh, you dick. Oh, headshot. I love how it says ghost question mark. I mean, we have those photo booths here in Australia as well, but I've never heard of them being like, hey, what are you doing? No guys allowed. What do you think this is? But I guess it's a cultural thing, I don't know. Man, I'm beat. So anyway, what's your deal? I'm sorry, wait a second, I've been through something like this before. Huh? Well, actually, there's no harm in your prank, and I don't intend to do anything about it. Not sure why I chased you, to be honest. Then will you accept this? Just a little way to say sorry. Sacrifice stone? What the fuck? The stone will save you from the brink of death but only once. Okay, I'm hanging on to that. So why'd you do it? Is it really fun photobombing people's print circle shots all dressed up like that? <laughs> Well, at first, I just photobomb people. 
But after seeing everyone get scared and freak out, I figured dressing this way would be more fun. Just making sure they get their money's worth. No one wants that, dummy. Besides, why are you still wearing that mask? If you really mean to apologize, show some respect and take it off. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. You know, for a guy who likes terrifying schoolgirls, you're pretty nondescript. Well, yeah. Alright, take it easy from now on, okay? You don't want to cause the arcade any trouble. I'm really sorry. I think I'm ready to let go and move from this sort of thing. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah, I'll be going now. We're in front of Majima's old club. I just noticed. So much for that. No more ghosts than the sheets on a clothesline. Don't know if it's changed over the years, but you weren't even allowed to eat out in public when you were there. You had to be in a covered area where people couldn't really see you. And by public, you mean like at a park or just walking around. You needed to find a booth and sit or be in a restaurant. Interesting. I mean, I guess they do that to prevent littering, I would guess. If you can't eat in like a park or something, then less likely that that park has rubbish. I can understand that. It's just the different difference to here is just they want people to go out to parks and stuff, and that's just I guess the culture here is don't be a dickhead, can <laughs> clean up after yourself. Hey, it's those girls again. Yeah, I can't eat another bite. But I wonder if that Prince Echo rumor really was just BS. Wanna try it again? You're still going on about that? I guess we did quit after only one try. Uh, they're still on about it. I suppose I should fill them in. Uh, pardon me, ladies. Did I hear you say something about a cursed print circle? What do you want, pops? Ooh, the dish... The what? The disheveled look? Can't say I disapprove. Huh? Sachi, really? You're into that? I prefer... Nonomiya-kun. What was that you're saying? Something about the cursed print circle? Ain't you old to be showing an interest in ghost stories? Totally. Super childish, but yeah. Have a look at this, see? Wait, what? Are these the same? I'm confused. Are these the same girls? <laughs> what? It's not the same girls, is it? It's not. Like, are they wearing wigs? Japan was definitely the cleanest place you've ever been to. I can imagine. I do want to go myself. It's just... Oh man, I was going to go in 2020 and then, well, you know what happened. But maybe next year. Or the year after. My brother was saying he wants to go the year after. The faces look the same. Okay. Oh yeah, that's him. The whole Cursed Prince Circle thing was some guy pulling a prank. Oh yeah, hey. He doesn't have the mask yet. This must be from when he was just starting. I chased him down just now. Man, he was fast. Still, I managed to collar him, and he seemed pretty sorry. I doubt he'll be doing this again. What? What's with the looks? What are you talking about, dude? This guy died three years ago. Eh? He was always photobombing people in that print circle. One day, someone got pissed and chased them all over town. Poor guy ran out into the street without noticing a red light, and well, that was that. Ever since, he's been photobombing that print circle from beyond the grave, or so people say. What do you mean you met the guy? Uh... Wait. Are you trying to pick us up with that lame story? That's adorable. A for effort. Oh, is that what this is about? Nice one. But I prefer when guys take the direct approach. No smooth moves for me. This was fun though. Bye. Was that guy just a lookalike or maybe? Mail from my investigator. What's this about? 
Yeah, I mean, I want to go for, like, food, but also just, uh, gaming and stuff. <laughs> Akihiko Yamaori. That's finally happening. Brooding won't help. All I can do is wait at the office. Okay, well, there's one more side story over there. Oh, waiting at the office. Akihiko Yamori. He'll show up eventually. Things are bound to get pretty complicated when he does. Maybe I should deal with some other things first. No. The other things is, like, main quest. Excuse me, I'd like to apply for a loan. Um... You! Are you... Akiyama? It's an honor to remember the name of a guy you once fired, Yamori-san. What are you doing here? Well, it'd be weird if anyone else was. This is my office. After I got fired from Toto Bank, I went through this and that before eventually starting Sky Finance. So, you're seeking a loan. Please, have a seat. You're not surprised I showed up here after all this time? I know that you were blacklisted by the credits ratings board and that other money moneylenders in town are turning you away at the door. People in your situation typically end up at a lender who offers no-term unsecured loans. In other words, me. I see. You knew I would come. I also knew you'd been working as a financial consultant in Kansai for the last two years. Tough break with the struggling business. You're facing bankruptcy already. You've been investigating me this whole time? I get it. You were waiting for a chance to take revenge on me for firing you all those years ago. <laughs> Too bad for you. I'm on the verge of bankruptcy thanks to no one but myself. So your revenge? So much for your revenge. Ha ha ha. Yamari-san, it is true I've been keeping an eye on you for the past few years. But it wasn't to get revenge. Then, what was it for? It's so I can repay my debt to you. Huh? Your debt? It's true that I once lost everything thanks to you. But it was also an opportunity to start all over again. I am who I am today because you fired me those many years ago. Yamori-san, let's just put this behind us, shall we? Water under the bridge. If you want to rebuild your business, I'm here to help. Uh -huh. Don't make me laugh. Water under the bridge. I e Even I know what you went through after you got canned. How you, the uppity suave intellectual, became just another one of Kamurocho's bums? Used to scour the alleys for food scraps. I know all about it. I drew you into investment club back in our days at the university. I got you into Toto Bank. I know everything there is to know about you. Including the woman I was seeing? That's right. If it weren't for what you taught me, I couldn't have started my lending business. I really am grateful to you. Yeah. But I sold you out to the law. I cast aside my conscience and my feelings for the sake of my career. And you're saying you can let it go as un there's water under the bridge? What kind of sap do you take me for? I believe I'm the one who should be asking you that question. What? I'm a professional. My job is to lend money to clients. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> Cast aside your feelings? Don't make me laugh. You're the one digging up the pass. Yeah, I guess you're right. I broke laws to get ahead and got you fired, but as a result I ended up getting kicked out too. Maybe I blamed you for the whole thing instead of facing reality. That was, what, seven years ago when that politician, Jingu, 
laundered all that money from the Toja clan and then this massive explosion happened on the roof and money fell from the sky and then somehow you managed to pick up several millions dollars of worth of it. We were all in on that scam. It was our department that handled that account. I didn't have a clue back then. I never thought for a second I was aiding and abetting a bunch of crooks. I was the account manager. No one under me knew. You were just used as a convenient scapegoat and thrown to the wolves. Yep. Falsely accused of embezzling, saddled with a slew of charges, fired me from the job and tossed out onto the streets. Even after Jingu's Monday money laundering came to light, the bank still pinned the blame entirely on me and denied any and all responsibility. Until two years ago when the Deputy Commissioner Munakata of Metropolitan Police was arrested for being involved in the scam. That brought the whole case back into the open, but this time, the truth got out and the bank's president was arrested. The author authorities grilled me too, but because of all the internal documents were destroyed after you were let go, they didn't have enough to charge me. Of course, the accusations alone were enough to end my career at the bank. So you left for Kansai and started your own financial consulting firm, and here we are. Unfortunately, I didn't have what it takes to run my own business, unlike you. But you clearly haven't given up, otherwise you wouldn't be looking for a loan. That's right. Good. Now, to get back to business. Do you or do you not want to borrow money from me? Let's start there. Well? No, I won't. I don't have much left, but I still have my pride. Have it your way. Sorry to waste your time. What are you going to do now? You won't get a loan from anyone else in this town. Who knows? Maybe I'll rob a bank. Heh, <laughs> sure. Human beings will always try to survive, no matter how dire the situation. Just like you did when you were in the streets. Well, I can't say I expected him to take me up on my offer. Still, no one else is going to grant him a loan. I doubt he'd actually resort to robbing a bank, but... Might want to keep an eye on him. He's gonna rob a bank, isn't he? Dude's gonna rob a bank. <laughs> it's like... If you ever watch It's Always Sunny in Philly, that's like when the credits would just start appearing. Akiyama stops a bank robbery. And then it rolls the theme. It, it looks like we're headed to a bank. Ah, this victory road thing. Good, good combat. Good combat system. Have, have the enemy block 90% of your attacks. Challenge the player. Whatever, man. <laughs> a win's a win. Okay, here we go. That's Yamori san. What's he holding? A knife? Was he serious about the whole bank robbery thing? I'd better stop him before this gets out of hand. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Shut up. It's your fault for not loaning me money. Nah. Mate. Hakiyama. This is crazy. You have to stop. 
stay out of this. There's no other way. Now, take this knife and kill me. Alright. I have life insurance. If I'm dead, my wife and kids won't have to go hungry. Everything will be squared away. Yamori son. You're out of your flippin' mind! Come on, hurry! They won't pay out on the suicide. Shut your trap! Yamori son. Huh? Ain't I seen you before? That's it. You're that Sky Finance guy from Tokyo, ain't ya? Ah, I get it now. You're using the psycho to get the police involved so you can swoop in and take over. The hell gave you that idea? You think you can pull this shit on our turf? Alright, fine. You wanna die so badly, we'll be happy to help. Uh, not really one for listening, are ya, pal? Huh? Come on, you two. Let's teach this greasy little shit what happens when he fucks with us. <laughs> if that's the way a fight started, I, I would be so afraid. Just within the first five seconds, dude uses a sofa and just incapacitates someone. Oh, where am I? Good, you're back with us, Yamori-san. Akiyama. Let go of me. I can stand on my own. I don't want your help. You'd rather die. Damn straight. Like I could ever accept help from the guy I screwed over. I won't do it. My pride won't let me. <laughs> Heh. Pretty cheap pride, if you ask me. What's that? The way you put your convictions before your life is admirable. But instead of worrying about your pride, how about you worry about your family's future? All the money in the world won't mean anything to your wife if you're dead. I can't see Eri wanting that, can you? Akiyama, you knew? Yeah. Eri dumped me after I lost my job. Then she started seeing you. You two got married and she quit working. Losing her essentially meant losing all I had. At that point, I was free to do just about anything. But you have a family. It's far too early for you to say they'd be better off without you. What you should be doing is protecting your family's future, even if it means eating crow meat from here on out. You talk about having pride? Have some pride in that. Akiyama. You're welcome to betray me, but don't ever lose sight of what really matters. <laughs> You're right. I thought, though I said I was doing it for my family, I was really thinking only of myself. Amari son. The hell with my pride. Think you can offer me a loan? <laughs> Absolutely. That's what I do. That said, you may have heard the rumors, but you'll have to pass the test I give you. What do I have to do? Eh, <laughs> actually, I was going to tell you to get a divorce. But after watching you lay your life on the line, I felt stupid for thinking up a test that so clearly had sprung from jealousy. What? So I'm going to offer you a loan on one condition. You turned me down before, but I'll ask you once more. Yamori-san, can we finally put the past behind us? Water under the bridge? That's all I want. Akiyama, you... <laughs> Thank you, and I'm sorry. Man, I must be getting soft. But giving an act of betrayal like that? Anna Chan won't be too happy about this. Uh, I would guess that. I think that means I'm done with sub stories for Akiyama's chapter. Wait, no, there's one that has an exclamation mark on it. Why? Sorry. I'll just take the taxi. Uh, 
Hey, you okay? Oh, it's you. Akiyama-san, right? <laughs> what is with this guy's face? <laughs> it's me, Pumper. I'm doing the victory road thing. Please, don't don't let me move. Uh, stomach hurts so much. All oh, right. You're the one who got signed by your dad, aren't you? That's right. I, I just got thrashed, though. It was pretty tough, huh? No, not at all. I, I was just... wasn't taking it seriously, and it bit me in the ass. Enough of that kind of talk, Rochi. Dad! Let me tell you why I really entered you in the victory road. Putting the dojo's name out there was just a cover. The real reason was to snap you out of this attitude of yours. Huh? You do have ability, Ryochi. Ryoichi, sorry. But you've let it go to your head. Look at your training. You're just wasting time aimlessly following lessons at the dojo. You've become much weaker than you realize. Can't you see that? Me? Weak? Don't be ridiculous. Did you forget I was top in the country for karate back in junior high? That's ancient history. Now you're only top in our tiny dojo, if that. That's not true. I'll prove to you right now how strong I am. All right, Akiyama-san. You've signed up for the victory road too, right? Then I challenge you to a fight right now. Ugh, I thought that might happen. Sorry, man, but I'll be giving this all I've got. Here goes. Ryoichi Banda. Ban ba ban ba Ban ba ban ba Ba da ba la la ban ba Sorry It's ban ba but you know it's close enough That's a song well before my time I'm not that old My parents listen to the song okay This dude's actually tough. I'm gonna just do the old cheese strat. Maybe he's immune to this cheese strat. There we go. Ah, shit! I can't believe this. I pulled out all the stops and I still couldn't win. Sorry, uh, I guess I'm tougher than I look. You're not kidding. I could tell as soon as we started. I did my best, but I lost in the end. You showed me I'm still lacking both in skill and mental strength. That's gotta be it. Right, Dad? That's it, alright. Then I'd better head back to the dojo. I'll put myself through the toughest training I can imagine until I'm ready for the victory road. Heh, <laughs> sounds good. Just wait, Akiyama-san. When I come back, a new man, you and I are going to fight. Yeah. Heh. <laughs> Looks like next time my win won't be so easily won. I owe you big time, Akiyama-san. To tell you the truth, though, I did want him to win some recognition for the dojo. I thought my son would qualify without a problem. I had no idea he'd meet as formidable a foe as you. I guess I'm just as guilty of overconfidence as he is. Like father, like son, as they say. Anyway, let's just keep that between the two of us. That's it? Alright. Now we're up to date. I'm gonna take a taxi. There's like two of them there. I mean, it won't get me that much closer, but I can avoid the fight. Close enough. 
It doesn't look like Akiyama has a side hustle, though. Okay, parking lot. The parking lot can show Fukucho. This must be the place. ワンナ。あんた何もんや。名刺渡したろ。スカイファイナンスって金貸しやってるものでね。任弁証を探してる。ただそれだけさ。仕事は一緒の偽造やったな。一体どういうつもりや何を探ってるどういう意味だもしかして最近同じような仕事でも受けたのかなあまり舐めた口聞けないようにした方が話がはかどりそうやな奇遇だね俺もそう思ってたところさ知らん程度に痛めつけたれ
<laughs> oh no. He's looking at a photo of her. Oh no. ブレイプ。最近の任弁してたらこんな仕事もやるらしい。ま、任弁さん。ファイトショッピングサムシング。ウェアズスティ。ケノマインド。あ、あなた確か昨日のイベントも。ですか。覚えててくれたよな。え? <laughs> はい。必ず私のイベントにやってきてくれる方なんです。それじゃいいですね。約束は守ってもらいますよ。ああ、何でも答えてある。Okay, can we just look at what's going on like on his right monitor? Yeah, he's drawn red circles around the arm. And the waistline? Is he comparing photos and just showing where it's been shopped? Then he has like a red circle around the boob. What is he doing? What, what is he highlighting? <laughs> Probably? Okay. Or he's the one doing the photoshopping, potentially. But he's, he's, it's not like he's working at a magazine or something. This is just an upstairs apartment at a bar. It's almost like he's uncovering a conspiracy theory or something, you know? Like I'm just waiting for the thumbtacks and the string. I should be paying attention to what's being said. He also has a tissue box that says Princess Tissue. And what looks like hot sauce? <laughs> I can't help but look in the background. Like, what, what, is this, what is this man's purpose aside from forging? He's got some other racket going on. でも、そんな情報だけじゃどうにも。この話はこっからが見せや。実はその後部座席に乗ってた男。最近テレビでよう見る顔なんや。オッケー。誰ですか。勝谷直樹。今飛ぶ鳥落とす勢いの大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。大阪系。
<laughs> the, the, the final rounds. Like, but first, a word from our sponsor, Princess Tissues. Yeah. I should have also got会社にいる時を狙って不意打ちするのがいいだろうね。君は大阪芸能に顔が割れてるだろうし、俺が行くよ。それでいいね。ええ、お願いします。よし、それじゃあ今日のパクさん事件の調査はここまででしょう。そうい
Nope. I'm just not going to do either, I guess. Okay. Let's get to bed. I wonder if there's going to be a whole new chapter. It's time I pay the visit to Osaka Talent. Think I'll take a taxi. Oh, we're going over there? Like, okay. I thought we were going to jump to the Princess League, but I guess not, huh? They have the entire Yakuza bundle 70% off, geez. That's tempting. I mean, I wouldn't mind PC versions of these games. I imagine they run at a better resolution. They suck a talent. Alright, that's a separate building. So it's pretty much... Zero all the way to six, which it's like less than ten dollars a game. Damn, I might have to pick that up. Apple, I did it in the Gosa. Shachoni, Snyder, Kunagana, Korosareta, Dinacha, Shacho, Paku Mire, no Ken, the Hanashiga, Pe. Oh, much could I say? Yoshku. Uh, somewhere out there, Gabe N is laughing at me. Damn you, Gabe. Sky Finance no Akiyama to Yus. Send it to Nakanata, Dino Chair no Sacho no Kenda to Car. Eh, so this. Dozo. These steam cells are so dangerous. All right, well, I got the collection. That was too good. うちと第一ちゃんとは確かに交流がありますが、どういったお話でしょう。勝也さんは以前俳優をされて、インターネットデータ情報の受け売りですけど、え、一時期アメリカに行ってましたね。アクション俳優をしていたんですが、怪我を
俺は他殺じゃないかと思っています。他殺失礼ですが。That's cheap. Yeah, I picked that up. That's just too good a deal. 彼女にそれなりの額の融資をしてました。It's like much per game. 債権者のお一人だと。まあ確かに、パク社長の自殺は。I mean, it's, I guess it'll differ with US dollars, but like. $7.50 a game. I mean, come on. <laughs> It's the best time to get into this series because just everything is available. And it's either remastered or remade. So, the Gizoyanis on the issue of 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 the i あんたが彼女を殺させたのかなぜ私があんたの事務所とダイナチアには朝からの因縁があるそれに現に今も I just love that they're called ダイナチア<笑>確かあれでお互いの日差 They have fun with the names I still hate that Kiryu's orphanage is called Morning Glory like 殺したと少し冗談はお控え I know, I know it, it doesn't mean what it means but 殺したということについては Such an unfortunate name. Ah, Kalimasen, eh? Tada, what I shall call you, Shimotoskara, Iroiruna, Ningen to Kakao, Kotoma, Arimas. Moshka Stara, Sono Nakani, Paksan no Sini Kakao, Tirininga, Itanoka Mosirena. Tada, what I shall never matak Kanke Nai Kotoda. Hm. What is that? Is he writing a check? Trying to bribe us? I don't know what he wrote. Dozo. Kore de Ohikitorio. Do you go to the sky? Kuchidomero? By shoe? Me mokua do to the itadaita mo kek kodes. All right, so this dude's totally guilty. Mitomeru to you koto de sky. So de wa arimasen. だが、身に覚えのない噂だとしても、人一人の死に関わっているなどと騒がれては、商売に支障がありますからね。大阪芸能という組織のトップとして、その噂の火種、ね、買い取れるものなら買い取りたい、そういうことです。どうも誤解されているようですね。俺はそんなもののためにここに来たわけじゃない。さあ、アキヤマズ・レッチ・アニワイ。勝也さんなんて本当に演技が上手だねもしそうなら今でも役者を続けていますよこちらも材料が少なすぎたようだあんたを見くびってた俺のミスです今日はおとなしく引き上げた方が良さそうだ疑いは晴れなかったようですねでもそちらも収穫は何もありませんでしたねでもあんたが手強すぎる人間だってことが分かっただけで収穫でしたよそれじゃあ、right, what now? If Katsuya is pulling the strings, oh damn it, that was quick. Why? I get. <laughs> didn't let me read, dude. <laughs> what the hell was that? もしもし All right, whatever. Anta wa? Park 社長の自殺の件でお話があります。Sky Finance の事務所に戻っていただけますか。こっちの質問に答えてないが。少なくとも私は敵じゃありませんよ。それでは。さあ、次はどこのドイツだ Meanwhile, at Dino Chair. おはよう。ほんなら早速レッスン始めよう。プリンセスのダンスコンペティション。いつもより難易度上げてくれ。これがクリアできひんかったら、プリンセットには勝てない。
Let me just get comfortable in my chair. ただし負ければ。この事務所は終わりやね。あんたも大阪芸能に買い殺しにされる。失敗すれば終わりなのはスターたるもの。いつだって同じです。デビュー前からこの緊張感を知るあなたは恵まれてると言えますよ。はい。
Okay. Guess it's time. I should, uh, wait, I can't, oh no, I can't practice the last song. Oh no, there we go. Please just give me, give me the hard difficulty. I need to get good at this. Okay, one more run through it. I have to get a combo 65. And 170 greats. I don't got this. <laughs> Oops. had that. This is alright. This is why this, this is practice. That's better. I haven't hit anything yet in terms of uh, what I should be hitting. God, oh, the last one was bad. Damn. Okay. I'll probably do it one more time after this. Hit <laughs> that pop. I press it too slow. I got two out of the three objectives. Yeah, I could have done better. Okay, one more time, and then go to the real deal. Odd. If I can get this right, then... Because in the competition itself, it only goes up to normal, so... I'll be fine in the contest if I can get this.
that was close. I almost messed that up. I fucked up. <laughs> I did an extra input. It's okay. I've already met the prerequisite of the combo, so I can chill a little. I feel much better about this now. That's better. Prerequisite. Just four more notes, please. Okay, I got it. You beat the bone, dude. <laughs> Congrats. Who'd you beat it with? Yes, the Koto. Okay, we're ready. I think it's a fun challenge. Blue hair ponytail has a staff. Oh, okay. I know who. Haruka, Princess what items did you go to bait? There's different ways you can do it. Harakimea,やり残したことがあるんやったら、今のうちに済ませといた方がえ。わかりました。Not good ones. <laughs> well, you won, so they would have had to have been good ones. I know. It's like. There are people that have tried to beat that thing for much longer times and still can't do it, so... We've already gotten it done, like, honestly, that didn't take long. It took me a couple days. Maybe more than a couple. I think... Four attempts... Stream-wise. We got more stuff to do here. I think this is gonna practice the song that we just did, so... Same. Fourth attempt, maybe fifth. Tried a few different characters. Oh, then you've done well. Like, give yourself more credit. A lot of people don't get it that quickly. <laughs> That's really quick.
Why are all the songs we have to perform have to be so catchy? Grady. I'm sorry, did I just get perfect? I didn't fuck up once. <laughs> Good. I guess FC. It's not gonna tell me, but the combo was 128. I feel like, I don't think I messed up a single note. It wasn't the full song, but I'll take it. The full song's more complicated. Okay, I have to perform the song again, but this time for the um, association thingy. Like, I don't 100% these games, but I do do all the sub-stories, because that's where the entertainment is. It's the reason I play them. The main stories are good, I like the main stories, but like... If it was a game that was just the main story and not the stuff that you experience outside of that, I probably wouldn't play as many of these games as I have. I'm pretty invested in the series now. Uh oh. I messed up. I missed one. That time, I missed one. I pressed L1 to trigger the, uh, the combo thing, and I forgot to press square. I've gotten better at that part. That part was like tripping me up. Ah! I pressed it too early. Whoops. Oops, oops, oops. I'm getting cocky because I, I did well. That's fine. This is only... I did what I needed to do. Like... I only need a combo of 25. I got 73. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's the same dialogue every time. I mean, the diamond is almost completely full. Okay. 
courtesy calls. Make the rounds increase your publicity. All right, I guess courtesy calls too. And then we'll do the final round. Ah, oh, well, thank you for everything. I'll be seeing you. All right, see you soon for recording. <sighs> I'm all done. Oh, Haraka-chan, how have you been? Hello, Shimada-san. I've been fine. Thank you for last time. You're very welcome. Hey, have you found the confidence you need to take down T-Set? Well, to be honest, I still don't know if I can beat them, but I'm doing everything I can to get ready. You have a new determined air about you two. Here, hold out your palm. Huh? But you've already read my palm. But your line's always changing. Your palm is like a mirror that shows who you are at the moment. If you change, your lines change with you. What do you see? Incredible! What? What is it? Amazing! You have a star sign! A star sign? Yes! It's a mark that comes up suddenly and temporarily. It's extremely rare. While you have the star sign, you're practically invincible, and everything's almost sure to play out in your favor. That star wasn't there last time. All your hard work and effort must have changed your frame of mind and made it appear. Wow, my effort may disappear? That's right, you couldn't have gotten a better reading just now. It means you have a great chance at the Princess League final round. Wow, that makes me really happy to hear. And now, because of the star mark, the embroilment mark, and grief lines I saw last time can be interpreted in a positive way. I see the suffering you've endured in the past as bolstering your star's brilliance. Wow. It'd be amazing if all the bad things that have happened over the course of my life were actually helping me right now. Wouldn't it? Well, I'd better be going. Good luck in the final round. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, there was one more thing I forgot to tell you. Really? What's that? I saw something else of significance in your palm. Something else? What'd you see? Hmm. Maybe it's best if you don't know. Please tell me, I won't get upset, no matter what it is. Well, alright. If you insist, I saw that your Mount of Venus is prominent. That can indicate romance or sensuality. Mount of Venus? Why is it zooming in on her face? Romance or sensuality? Me? No way. Ah, <laughs> what a wonderful thing youth is. Anyway, I'll be seeing you. Shimada-san! Ah. But wow. All in all, I got a really amazing reason. So if a person changes, the lines on their palm change too. Maybe I really have changed. I don't exactly feel different, but I hope I've grown in some way. Ooh. I just have to do well in that final round. I wonder if that's it. All right. We're ready. Final round. いよいよやな。ルスは引き受けました。はるか。初めて会った時言いましたね。ダンスは自らの心をどう表現するか、どう見る側に心を伝えられるか、それにかかっていると楽しんできなさい。それがいい結果をもたらすでしょう。あ、ボーイ、ディスティ。あ、ボーイ、ディスティ。あ、ボーイ、ディスティ。あ、ボーイ、ディスティ。あ、ボーイ、ディスティ。あ、ボーイ、ディスティ。あ、ボーイ、
ちょっとあんたら言うてええことと悪いことがあるやろやだおばさんムキになっておごっちゃってるほんとやだねただの冗談なのにさ What is with the poster in the background? <laughs> I just like the look in the background sometimes. Like, I, I get it, they're, they're being bitches, but like. There's an old man in the background smiling. Mean girls, yeah. Look at the poster in the book! What is that poster? It's a dude in a. It's like a stock photo of a dude in a wheelchair smiling. It's like something you would find in a brochure for like a retirement home. They're at a TV station. Haruka, Jim Shomeria, there.絶対あの子らだけには負けたらあかん。プリンセスリーグで大恥かかしたり。大恥だなんてそんな。でも分かりました。勝ちます。絶対に。せや。そうこな。社長や堀江君に合わせる顔がない。さあ。ほんなら始
優れたパフォーマンスでより多くの観客からの支持をゲットしたアイドルの勝利です決勝戦もついにファイナルラウンドこの戦いで獲得したポイントが勝負の分かれ目になるのは言うまでもありません戦いが終わった時プリンセスの座を手に入れるのはどちらのアイドルかそれではご紹介しましょうまずはこちらのアイドルから完璧なスタイルに完成されたダンスパフォーマンスシンメトリの美しさに見るものすべてが引き込まれる2人の親和性は偶然それとも必然か今世紀唯一無二の究極ユニット T ネットー迷いながら苦しみながらそれでも歩み続けたプリンセスリーグの激闘の数々強い印象を秘めた瞳が見つめる先にあるものは紡ぎ出すは未来を描く決意の歌声聞くもの全てに希望を与える奇跡のアイドル沢村はるかさあどちらのアイドルがより多くの観客を魅了しフィーバーさせられるんでしょうかさあ、right. ファイナルラウンド始めちゃいましょうレディーああ。There we go. Got me. Damn it. <laughs> I usually nail that. I did better last time. The thing that's harder is the stage is way more flashy, so like the background is so much more distracting this time around. Because <laughs> there's lights everywhere. 
2組とも素晴らしいパフォーマンスでしたね正直感動を抑えきれませんどちらも文句のつけようがないライブを見せてくれました I win. 会場の皆様もそう思いますよね Or it could be that the contest was rigged from the get go, like the girls said. And we lose. But we'll see. じゃあ結果発表の前に両アイドルにコメントをいただきましょうか T セットの2人決勝戦を戦い終えて今の気持ちはどうでしょう自分たちのパフォーマンスを出し切りました結果発表が楽しみですはるかちゃん今のお気持ちは結果発表はこれからですけど今はとっても清々しい気持ちでいっぱいですはい、2組ともありがとうございましたさていつまでも余韻に浸っているわけにはいきませんはるかちゃん T セットのお二人そして会場の皆様心の準備はよろしいでしょうかよろしいですねそれでは結果発表ですプリンセスリーグ2012数々の戦いを乗り越え栄えあるプリンセスの座に輝いたのは、well. 沢村、hey. アルカちゃん、見事今年のプリンセスに選ばれましたアルカちゃん私…シストーンショックそうです、君が今年のプリンセスですよさて、はるかちゃんプリンセスとしての最初のお仕事をしてもらいましょうか会場に来ている皆様そしてテレビを見ているファンにメッセージをお願いしますはいわかりました She gonna say thanks to family. 何もかも未熟な私が今ここでプリンセスになれたのは。応援してくれた皆さんのおかげです会場にいる人テレビの前で応援してくれている人私を支えてくれている人皆さんの思いが伝わってきたから私も信じることができましたどんなに遠く離れていても思いを届けることができるんだって私の思い届いたかな。お送りしてまいりました。プリンセスそろそろお別れの時間となってしまいました。<笑>会場の熱気も冷めやらぬ中ではありますが、この辺で失礼したいと思います。それではまた。So, I mean, the story's not over with her, so. I guess we'll see where this goes now. Yatana, Arka! Anta Homa, you are the Kureta! Shacho to Horia Kuni Momiseta Gata! Anta no Harisgata! Yamara san. さすが社長の見つけてきた逸材やわ。あ、oh, wait, still the big concert that she wants to throw. きっと成功できる。社長との夢、果たすことができる。そう思うわ。私はな
ありがとうございますあせやクリスティーナに事務所の留守番を押し付けてきたんやったはよ戻って報告せんとなええよしほな行こうか待ってよああ私たちに何の挨拶もなしに帰るけどういうつもりやまだなんか言うかさっきのステージオンエアをチェックしたわ<笑>そ That's gonna be another out of context clip ここ isn't it? あんた返したら何する気や違う言っておきたい I can't even remember what I said What did I say? 悔しいけどさあんたのパフォーマンス見てて引き込まれたとても良かった I'm the princess <笑>私たちも楽しくここまで来たわけじゃない。Okay. <笑>だからわかる。あのパフォーマンスができるようになるまで、どれだけ練習を積まなきゃいけないかがさ。Too late! I've already done the best of 2023. This is like the ceasefire. それだけよ。それじゃ。I've already made the, the end of your highlight real. So. ありがとうございました。I, I missed what they said. <laughs> Did they, were they showing some humility? Or were they still being mean girls? Okay, mean girls it is. Yeah.、はいはいはいはいはい でも私たちにも別の魅力があるってプライドあるからねそう思いますそれじゃもう行くわまたねはいまた案外ええ子らなんやね見直したわほんまに<笑> Completely missed what they said. <laughs> so, my, my opinion has not changed. Hi. So, back up, back to Akiyama. So, he wants to talk about Park Sun's suicide, does he? I don't know who this guy is, but I guess he's waiting for me over at Sky Finance. Where am I? Oh. Well, that's easy. Going to shatter the knees of the entire populace by the time this is over. Okay. So I am going to keep playing this tonight's. A, I guess you would call like a double episode of this. But before I continue, I'm going to get a drink. I made some iced tea earlier, so I want some of it. But I also want to stretch my legs because it's been three hours. And it's a good spot to split the video here for YouTube later. Which, speaking of, this is where I say bye, YouTube, but thank you for watching. And you know the drill if you want to. Support the channel over there, just clickety click the buttons like the like button, or you can watch me play other stuff with one of the other videos that pop up. But we'll see ya next time. <laughs>